Yeah, let's take a look at number nine, uh, using the calculator to help us uh, solve the problem. And uh, it says find all the zeros of the function, which means basically take the function set at equal to zero and solve it. So plus 6x squared plus 8x minus 3 equal to zero. Um, let me write that to steps. There we go. Hopefully this works. This will be the third time working this problem. Uh, I've been having memory issues with my laptop. Uh, solving uh, polynomial. Or fi uh, let me just say finding zeros. Using TI-8384. That's really all we're looking at in this piece. Okay, step one. Put polynomial on y1, zero on y2. Step two, do a second trace. Choose intersect. Enter on first curve. Enter on second curve. Input an x value close to your answer for the guess and enter. And uh, then step three if decimals, second mode decks it out. And then math, enter enter. So let's look at these. So for this one I'm going to press my y equals clear and I'll put in x to the third so x caret 3 plus 6x squared oops okay, I'm going to clear that history again. <laughs> okay, you go to y equals yeah, press clear, then you do x to the third, so x caret 3, plus 6x squared, plus 6x, then the x squared button, plus 8x, and minus 3. And then with down arrow, the y2, make sure you flash and cursor on y2 and press clear, and then put 0. Now I already had 0 of mine, but... And uh, then we're going to go through step two. Second, trace. Choose intersect. You can down arrow to it and press enter on it or just press number five. And it'll come up in the lower left hand corner and say first curve, eventually. So you just press enter on it. Then when it comes up and says second curve, you press enter on it. And then for your guess, you actually input what you think the answer is. Um, so it looks like negative three, so let me put that in. And it comes back and tells me intersection is x equals negative 3. So that's telling me my first answer is negative 3. There it is. Well, we got um, our, our answers were across as the x axis, so we got some other ones to try. If I do second trace and choose intersect, enter on first curve, enter on second curve, let me put 1 in for the guess. So I'll type 1 and enter. I get this one here. Well, we, we had steps for decimals. Instead of decimals, exit out, and then do math, enter, enter. So I'll do second, mode, math, enter, enter. Now, it doesn't change to a fraction, so we can't use that answer. Now, there's actually one more. You can't see it real well, but if I did a second trace and chose intersect, enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and if I put in negative 4, we would get another answer there. Um, and uh, this one doesn't change to a fraction either. If I went through and did a second mode, math, enter, enter. So the only answer we got via the calculator was uh, the negative 3. Well, that's okay. We can work with it. Now I'm going to take negative 3 and I'm going to plug it into synthetic division. Now remember this was x to the third. This was x squared 
this was the x and this was the no x. So we're going to do a series of adding and multiplying over and over. 1 plus nothing is 1. Multiplied, you always multiply by the number of the box, but number you just put down there. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Now, we have to get a 0 there. If the calculator tells you it's one of your answers, you have to get a 0 there. Now, this was x to the third. This will be one degree lower. So that's x squared, x, and or no x. So we're going to have x squared plus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, this doesn't factor, so we have to use a quadratic formula. Now, a is what's for x squared, which is 1. B is what's for x, which is 3, and C is our number at the end, which is negative 1. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. So I go through and where I have a variable, I'll put parentheses in, and then I'll plug in my numbers. If you mess up on signs, this is a really good thing to do. And if you don't mess up on signs, it's probably not so necessary. Now everywhere we had a B, we'll put in 3. Everywhere we had an A, we'll put in 1. And everywhere we had a C, we'll put in negative 1. So that gives us negative 3, plus or minus. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times a negative 1 gives us a positive 4, over 3. Which gives us negative 3, plus or minus, square root of 13, over 3. And those are our other two answers. The plus or minus means there's two of them there. And looks like the one that matches would be B as in Bill.